Welcome back. Seek VR is like Ticketmaster for virtual reality. So, sounds very exciting. And here to tell us more about that is the CEO and founder of Seek VR, Mary Spio. So, great to have you, Mary. Thank you so much, Jean. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. So, first, tell me about the company. What is it you do? We said Ticketmaster for VR. So, can I explain what Seek is all about? So Seek is a streaming platform for virtual events and experiences, um, and we feature everything from concerts to educational programming, healthcare training. Um, so it allows you to virtually be there uh, just by putting on a, a, a you know virtual reality headset. Uh, it allows you to teleport to places that you can you know be virtually, mm -hmm. um, and. Well, what I was going to say was the first thing when you mentioned that was I thought about the pandemic and how you have a solution for things that we can't be at a big concert or big sporting event. I mean, have you found the pandemic has accelerated your business at all? Absolutely. You know, um, there's just been so much. You know, I'm on the cover of uh, Entrepreneur Magazine this month for exactly that, because we've seen such a tremendous growth in our business Um there are a lot of, um, you know, we're working with a lot of mega stars. So we're working with Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, and the list goes on YouTube. But since the, you know, pandemic, a lot more people have come to us, you know, telling us about the need for virtual classrooms, the need for virtual concerts. We just, Bon Jovi, for example, canceled his concerts, but we have a virtual re concert on our platform. We just uh, did a Ringo, uh, Ringo's, um, recent birthday party, you know, uh, Beatles drummer. I mean, it's like the types of opportunities that are coming to us now are just truly, truly phenomenal. Yeah. And you have a lot of uh, partnerships with well-known media and entertainment companies. So tell me about those. Yeah. So we're partnered with uh, Microsoft. With Microsoft, we're working with them and creating a um, a streaming protocol for verifying content on the blockchain. One of the biggest problems that faces the industry, especially when you're streaming other people's content, is being able to verify how many plays have been done. You know, artists complain all the time that I've seen my video play on YouTube you know, 2 billion times. So why am I not getting paid for it? So by teaming up with uh, Microsoft Azure Blockchain, we're able to now verify every time a stream happens so that, and also the content uh, owners are paid royalties through smart contracts. Okay. And that's something that's really needed. And, and that's, there's so much kind of, I don't know, shenanigans, manipulation of media, things going on on the, on the internet right now that the blockchain can really help solve that. Absolutely, it does. To have a you know immutable um, ledger that we're able to record all transactions, and then it also simplifies the process. So not only does it make it uh, more trusting, but it also makes it efficient. The fact that you could pay rights owners um, automatically through smart contracts, that they could look at the ledger, they could see how much of their content has been consumed, and then they can also be automatically paid. Okay. Well, wow. it sounds like a, a very interesting business model. Tell me about your background because I, I asked you a little about, about the goggles and you created the goggles. Yes. Do you have a tech background? Okay. So let's see them. And then yes, here. How, how do you even begin to create virtual reality goggles? <laughs> <laughs> so my background, I'm actually a deep space engineer. So I started out uh, building, you know, satellites, sending rockets into space. Um, I did that uh, for a while. And then I went more into developing um, applications that use satellites. So I was the head of satellite communications for Boeing, where we created the digital cinema technology. Actually, if you look at the Boeing patents, you see that four of the digital cinema, the live streaming of a satellite. I'm the sole inventor of that. So I've invented a lot of patented technologies. And when I started using a lot of the um, headsets that were on the market, first of all, they were very complicated desktop devices. You had to strap a computer to your back, all kinds of stuff. And so I wanted to create something that was convenient, that we use mobile phones, and then also that accommodated uh, for people that wear glasses, for women and kids, because most of the devices that were in the marketplace were not suitable for women and kids. So we've created a device that's suitable for everyone. Okay. Well, fascinating background. I mean, you're like Thank a female you. Elon Musk, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, I have satellites that are, you know, still in space today that I sent out there. So very cool. Yes, successfully um, out there. 
Okay, so um, just uh, in terms of the company, like how can somebody learn more? Are you looking for partners? Like what's next for CVR? So basically where we are now, um, you know, we're on a mission to make the use of uh, the Seek platform universal. Um, you know, no different than Googling something. We want people to be able to meet. Today, everybody's on lockdown and so they can't go anywhere. So we have these virtual venues. We want people to say seeking to be synonymous with meeting friends, gathering, you know, um, and we've created a lot of partnerships. Where we are now is uh, in the process of really amplifying a lot of those partnerships that we've created. We have over 300 uh, concerts on our platform with the biggest names out there. And we're just looking to grow and um, exponentially grow. And then Mary, just once we get back to normal, whenever that may be, we can go to concerts again and things. Uh, do you see then a role for virtual reality? Like has, has this changed things? We'll be able to have both virtual and in-person events from now on? It, it, you know, the platform was originally created because, for example, Adele had a concert where she was selling just 100,000 tickets. 10 million people tried to buy those tickets. So we created a platform like this to sell to those 99, you know, 9.9 .9 million people that couldn't go to the concert for that 99% of people. And that's very true for most concerts. So while, you know, the pandemic has accelerated our growth and, you know, brought in a flurry of, you know, uh, supernovas, we actually have a place in the market with or without the pandemic. So we were working, you know, we had Lady Gaga on our platform before, we had Katy Perry on our platform before. So we extend the reach of sold out shows or undersold shows. So there's a very much a place for us, but now the whole world knows about it. And, you know, we don't have to beat the drum so hard. Well, and, and you think about the possibilities you can do. So, I mean, there's nothing like a concert in person, but if you can't get there, if it's overseas, it's something, so, I mean, it really opens up a whole new world of enjoying entertainment globally. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much uh, for coming, Mary. It's great to hear about Seek VR and best of luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.